What do we have here? Hey, everybody. This is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. Got a fire going in the background. Our mountain caught fire a couple hours ago. And it's really spread across the valley. Let's see if the smoke goes clear out there. But anyway, what I wanted to share with you today is the design that I came up with a while ago for a flash arrestor. And you can use this with HHO, propane, natural gas, gasoline vapors, diesel vapors, doesn't really matter. It would work for anything. Um, simple to make, very easy to make. You could take it to any machinist and he could do it lickety split. Um, and it would last forever. So how it works is you would get a piece of round stock. If you don't know what round stock is, just Google it. Um, all it is is it's a round piece of steel, basically like a pipe that's solid all the way through. You get a piece of that and whatever material you'd like. For this case, I will be using stainless steel because I'm using this for HHO. But I, what I'm going to be doing is getting a piece of round stock and I'll drill a hole through the center of it. And after I have that hole drilled, I'm going to get a spline shaft. You can order these off of the internet in various sizes. Um, the awesome things about spline shafts are you can get them so that between each spline you have one one hundredth of an inch spacing between there. So you can use it and it would work for HHO. Um, so, so you'd have that hole drilled through the center of the round stock and you would get this spline. This is what it would look like inside of this hole right here that you drilled if you turned this up and we're looking at it like that. So you'd press it in there and then it would look like this. And the hydrogen or whatever fuel you would use would flow right where you see these saddles. It'd flow through that those holes right there. And then what you could do is you could actually light a flame directly on top of this and it, you'd, you'd have a flame come out of each of these little valleys right here, the saddles, between each spline. Um, so you could make a stove, cooking stove out of this or whatever, but the main purpose of this is to be used as a flash arrestor for hydrogen units or natural gas, propane, whatever you want. Um, if you wanted a higher flow rate flash arrestor, this would work wonderful. All you would need to do is drill multiple holes on that piece of round stock and press multiple splines through it to increase your flow rate. So for those of you that would like to experiment with high flow rate devices, um, whether it be HHO or some other gas or fuel, it would work great for that. Um, all you would need to do is just increase the size of the round stock that you're using and drill more holes and press more pieces of spline into it. Um, what I'm going to be doing when I have this done is I'm going to be getting a piece of probably three-quarter inch round stock, stainless steel, 316 stainless steel. Um, I'm going to take this down to a machinist and have him have him uh, do all the work for it, machine it out, um, put it on the lathe, turn it. And then once I have the spline in there and all that kind of good stuff, um, since it's just a piece of solid round stock, you can have them put threads on it too. So I'm going to have it look pretty close to this, except it's not going to dip in up here at the top. It's just going to be straight. And right here in the center, I'm going to have a spline going right in there. And that will be my flash arrestor. So super easy to make. And then I can... Uh, I can thread a uh, um, a barbed fitting right onto there. Go from a mill to a barb, connect to the hoses for the hydrogen generator. So let me know what you think. That's my design that I came up with a while ago. Um, it should work pretty good in theory. Well, in real life, but in theory it would work comes down to building it and testing it to see whether it actually works in real life. So 
it, it should. I don't see why it, why it wouldn't, because when you press the spline into there, it would seal up against the walls, because it would actually cut little grooves into it and seal. Um, and then if you heated it up while you were doing that, and then pressed it in there, when it when uh, it cools back down, it'll shrink onto it and seal it up even better. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. And share your ideas, share this video, spread the word. Um, if you do make one, I'd love to see a video of it. Just message me and um, I'd love to put it up on my channel to show how well it works. But I will be making some of these and testing them out and make videos on them so you guys can see. And then if they work as they should, I'll be selling these flash thrusters. They'll last forever and can be used for many different types of applications. So. Take care. This is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. Peace out.